Hey everyone, Scott here with MidCurrent and welcome to Inside the Box where we unpack and share with you some really cool fly fishing and outdoors gear and give you our first thoughts on things such as features, functions, and overall our first impressions right out of the box. So today let's jump on in and check out some from our friends at Headwaters Bamboo Rod Company. All right. So today we're gonna to check out the Henry's Fork Outfit, which is part of the Premier series from Headwaters. And this is actually the first bamboo rod that we've ever unboxed. So really excited to check this out and share this with you. For me, bamboo really harkens back to the very roots of fly fishing. It has a very nostalgic feel to it. Uh, but the other thing that comes to mind for me is price. You know, these, these rods can range anywhere from several hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars. Uh, almost so nice that you don't even want to fish them in. It's almost like an art piece, if you will. But Headwaters has really introduced a, uh, you know, line to the market that is really affordable. It has a really great price point and something that uh, allows people that are interested and intrigued with bamboo to get into the, uh, the bamboo game at a pretty affordable uh, price point. So Headwaters has been making bamboo fly rods for well over 20 years. So each of their rods is a six-sided, hand-split, hand-planed, and made of a genuine Tonkin cane. So really high quality, really well made. So as I mentioned, this is the Henry's Fork outfit here. We're gonna check out all the components that come with the outfit. So it's really a package deal. Uh, what that package includes is the rod tube, the rod sock, the rod, which includes two tip sections. So there's three pieces all together. We'll talk about those tip sections here in a minute but also a reel as well as some fly line. So let's take a look at those uh, different items here. All right, so first off is the St. Joe Classic Fly Reel. Open this up. Comes with a nice little pouch here, kind of a brown padded pouch, nice and soft on the inside to keep that protected. And there's the reel there. So it's kind of got this copper brown metallic sort of look and feel. Really nice, kind of basic uh, fly reel, but enough to get you out on the water and fishing. And then next is their EB series fly line. That's uh, extended belly, which is a weight forward fly line. Could be really nice for casting, getting some of those far, uh, you know, casts and the great false casting with that uh, weight forward line here. So kind of a nice uh, light greenish color. So then the rod itself here. So this is the rod tube it comes with. Nice Cordura rod tube. Uh, it's got the Headwaters branding on the outside here. The rod itself is a two-piece rod when it's assembled, so it's a little bit longer case here. You're gonna see the, uh, the length on that. So what you have here are the two tip sections as well as the end section here. And we'll talk about the tip section in just a second, but I'm gonna pull out the end section here. Show you this really quick. So in terms of length, overall length, this is gonna be a seven foot nine inch rod. It's a five weight with a medium action. And uh, looking at some of the finish here, this is what they call a dark flame finish. You can kind of see, I kind of move it back and forth there. It's almost kind of inconsistent in terms of the finish here, but it's got kind of a flame finish. So it uh, looks like it's kind of burnt a little bit and, and uh, you know hit with a flame, which really creates this really just beautiful, dark, rich finish on the rod. And uh, you know, again, you can see here, it goes from really dark to light and back and forth and kind of brings out some really, really cool colors uh, on the finish here. Then overall, you know, it's got a kind of a glossy finish to kind of finish that off. Really nice uh, black uh, wrappings here with some kind of, uh, looks like a silvery metallic uh, kind of finish at the end there. And then coming over to the tip section. So two tip sections. But what, uh, what's a little bit different with bamboo is you're actually gonna swap these out and you're gonna uh, rotate these sections. So one day you're gonna fish this section and then let's say you go back out in the water the next day or you know, really your next outing, you're gonna put this one away, put this in the case and then bring out this tip section here and uh, rotate them back and forth. And really what that's gonna do is that's gonna help with the longevity of the rod. It's gonna allow that tip section to, uh, to relax, kind of regain its uh, memory and shape and rest. But again, ultimately, uh, you know, help with the longevity and uh, lifespan of the rod. Bamboo's got a lot of flex in it, a lot of action, so uh, you wanna make sure that you're rested as much as possible. I mean, it's it's pretty fragile, but if you take care of it and you do that rotation of the tip sections, you're gonna really get some great longevity out of the uh, out of this rod. 
One of the things that you hear a lot when you hear bamboo is tapers, and I had no idea what a taper was. I'm so used to hearing, you know, actions and all that sort of stuff. That still equates to bamboo, but tapers are essentially the rod length, the optimal line weight, as well as the rod flex action which uh, is literally the, the shape of the rod itself. There's, there's a ton of different tapers out there. Um, Headwaters actually has 14 different tapers that they offer within their, all of their different series. Um, but you can actually go online and do some research for tapers. This one in particular is it's called the Paul H. Young Para 14 Taper. You can spend hours and hours researching tapers and what they mean and uh, the people that develop them and, and uh, that are behind those tapers. So definitely uh, something check, worth checking out if, uh, if you're wanting to get into the bamboo game. Really for reference, a, a medium action rod will flex about two thirds of the rod when you're false casting for bamboo. And then a medium fast action bamboo rod will flex about half of the rod. So a lot of bend, a lot of action, a lot of movement going in on this rod. Uh, you know, for a point of reference, the typical fast action graphite rod flexes only about approximately a quarter of the rod. So uh, quite a bit of flex and quite a bit of action in, in these rods. Warranty wise, uh, Headwaters offers a guarantee for the life of the rod for the original owner and they'll replace or repair for any material or workmanship issues. If you do happen to break one of your rods, you snap a tip section, give them a call, shoot them an email, go online. They're gonna take care of you. They'll walk you through kind of how to get that fixed and taken care of. But um, one of the other really cool things that they do offer is a 30 day uh, trial period. So if you're kind of interested in checking one of these out, you can go online, order it, and uh, have it shipped to you. And then you've got 30 days to try it out. If you're not completely satisfied, you can return it and get a full refund and they'll take care of you. So um, I've got a feeling that uh, once you get this out on the water, you start casting it, you're gonna wanna keep it and uh, you're not even gonna have to <laughs> worry about that. So so the Henry's Fork outfit retails for $6.45 and uh, you can go to headwatersbamboo.com and check it out. And uh, if you happen to pick one of these up, leave a comment and let us know what you think.